So if you fancy doing a bit of travelling around while keeping a very low profile, it's the perfect invention. And that's how this amazing submarine came about. Mikhail Pushkov from St. Petersburg started building his one-man pedal-powered sub in his attic 30 years ago. He was just 20 years old. This sub is my life's work, and I would say it's the love of my life as well. I'm very proud of my submarine. Mikhail built his submarine from old scrap and stuff he found lying around. I made all the parts and put all the different sections together. I managed to find the pedals, seat, window, propeller, steering wheels. I collected them together and had to attach them to the main body and do it all so that no one would notice. No one would notice? Why all the secrecy? Well, remember when Mikhail started building his submarine, it was the Soviet era and the head of state was the hardline Leonid Brezhnev. Personal freedom wasn't at the top of his political agenda or even at the bottom of it. In the days of the Soviet Union, it was difficult to go abroad. I couldn't just leave my job and go travelling in my own country. Fearful of the infamous KGB, Mikhail had to work at night and bit by bit, his pedal-powered submarine slowly took shape. By 1990, after nine long years and some scary ups and downs, Mikhail's submarine could now properly dive resurface and travel along the seabed. As long as he kept pedalling, of course. But it wasn't all plain sailing. One dark night, I lowered the sub into the river and started going down the Neva into the Gulf of Finland. I got caught in some metallic net. And as I was trying to get out of the net, the locals called the police. And the police called the KGB. For three long days, the KGB interrogated Mikhail. But now it was the era of President Gorbachev, perestroika and more enlightened times in the Soviet Union. And much to Mikhail's surprise and relief, the KGB didn't lock him up. They did something quite extraordinary. The KGB helped me apply to university. And so in 1990, Mikhail became the oldest student at the Shipbuilding Institute in St. Petersburg. But more importantly, he was free to carry on travelling in his one-man submarine, now with the blessing of the authorities. In 1994, Mikhail decided to really test his submarine, this time on a 40-mile round trip to Kronstadt Island, pedalling all the way. Physically, you could compare this to attaching a wheelbarrow to a man, dressing him in a rubber suit and getting him to drag it 20 miles or so. I decided to switch to a motor system after that. <laughs> now, after almost 30 years, his sub has been transformed. It's become bigger, blacker, and the pedals are long gone. It now has two engines, an electronic navigation system, and a video link to the surface. The sub helps me take a break from all things ordinary and from the daily grind. It teaches me patience. And I also teach it some things in return. We complete each other. Now older and wiser, there's one thing that hasn't changed since he started secretly building his sub 30 years ago. Mikhail still just wants the freedom to travel around a bit. My dream is to paint the submarine yellow and one day sail to Liverpool. <laughs> Now that's what I call a man of substance.